What's up everybody? Bowtie so fly coming at you for another episode of XCOM 2. So, in our last episode we did some stuff and some things and now we're here at a retaliation strike. Yes. It's not as if things weren't bad enough already with Advent Midnight Raids and Alien Infiltrators. We're now going to deal with a retaliation strike, which I'm sure is just going to be so much fun. But uh, before we get into that, uh, a friend of mine that watches the series mentioned get blue screen rounds is to use or to unlock blue screen protocol. Uh, I went ahead and looked it up online because I did not remember if you had to keep doing experimental ammo or if you got it through blue screen protocol, and apparently you get it through blue screen protocol. So, since I really, really, really want blue screen rounds, and since they will be very helpful with Andromedons and some things we haven't seen yet, uh, I am going to unlock, as you can see down there, in 12 days, blue screen protocol. Uh, we have three days on experimental ammo, six days on a spider suit for bow tie, uh, two days on the Andromedon autopsy, and then 19 days till a supply drop, uh, if we make it that long. We'll see what happens. But in the meantime, we are going to do this retaliation strike, and then our next mission, I swear I'm going to make it happen, uh, is going to be this alien facility. So as long as we don't suffer too heavy of casualties here on the retaliation strike, we will be able to take on the black site in our next episode. So, without further ado, Operation Dismal Sleep, and if I don't do well on this, it's going to be a dismal sleep indeed, is going to be our target here. Got a nice cafe vanilla that I'm sipping on, and I'm excited to go for this mission. So, Colonel, Captain, Major, Major, Major. Uh, let's see what we got here. Decently happy with this loadout. Um, Let's see, what else do we have? Four whoop, loadout. Bow tie here. Uh, we do venom rounds, poison organic targets, or extra damage and have a chance to set targets of flame. I like the idea of setting people on fire. I think especially since we're facing a lot of human enemies right now and things that can be lit on fire, I think it's a good idea. Uh, is there anyone else we want to potentially take? I would of course Substitute in place of either Bowtie or Josh Kelly. Um, I want to start getting some of these lower level units out, but we're on very, very difficult missions, so I worry. Uh, so I'm trying to think who I should bring out here. Don't need a third sharpshooter. And they're not going to have... At this point, I can't afford to take one of them out. Um, need to keep people fresh. So uh, I am going to save Josh. Oh, Narcos is available. Uh, I'm also going to save Narcos, maybe? You know what? No, we're going to bring Narcos along. Got to do it. Do it for the senpai. We'll give him Venom Rounds. Why not? And with that, I think we will go ahead and make it happen, Captain. So, yeah. Let's light it up. See how we do. Sky Ranger deployed. Menace ready to deploy. All right. Operation Dismal Sleep is a go. word the aliens are attacking a resistance outpost in this region and they're not taking any prisoners these people need our help yeah We're no prisoners to make sure the aliens regret coming after the resistance neutralize all hostile contacts in the area and secure the camp i can think of no better place to stage a resistance than defiance falls sorry about the frame rate drops that happens i guess as it doesn't happen in the game, we're good. Plus, you can see what everyone looks like in slow motion. All right, let's do it. Come on. Three, two, one, red. There it is. All right. We'll, of course, skip the drop-in. You've all seen that hundreds of times. Yeah, we're 
gonna try and save some lives. Lives. Save some lives. Picture us much like the fray. Hostile forces are attacking the outpost. Eliminate all enemy units and protect those civilians. Advent came in hot and so did we. You won't have a concealed position for deployment on this one. Alright. I see someone over here, so I'm assuming it's this way. Uh, my, my apricot senpai. Just in case you have to, uh, kill this person. Let's, uh, drop you down here. here Looks like not. The resistance has done everything it can to convince people to join the cause. But it's an uphill battle when you've got Advent whispering propaganda in your ear 24 the... hours a day. You're good to go. Move. Okay, I was gonna say... I'm like, he's right inside the circle. There's no reason that should not be triggering. Moving to position. Alright, Bowtie, we're gonna give you... This is gonna be your trial mission. If you no continue to, to do poorly, I might pull you from the ranks for a while in favor of another sharpshooter or just another squatty altogether, so... Let it be known, you have been warned, oh, yeah. sir. No more of your shoddy shooting and depressing oh, yeah. tendencies. Alright, that's not going to trigger anybody. Sad that I wasted a running gun, but again, you can't be too careful early on. No need to ask twice. And Brunzel's throwing the pistol overwatch. I'm assuming we're not going to see anybody shot. yet. Nar, throw you on overwatch too. I hear things and I'm assuming we're going to see someone get shot in a sec. Here goes nothing. What the? What was that? All I could see was like a pillar of smoke and fire. That looked terrifying. Alright. Dark Jake. Uh, who do I feel comfortable? Blue, can you get in there? You cannot. Um, <laughs> Narcos, guess what you're doing? We're saving all the lives, so either we trigger some enemies or this is a faceless. You're safe. Now get out of here. Trigger some enemies. All right, good. So we at least got two people safe already. Oh, this is gonna be ugly. These chrysalids seem a little smaller than I remember. Then again, it was never really their size we had to worry about. All right, heavy mech, three chrysalids, and an elite trooper. Lovely. Super excited. Why does it have no? Sorry, you don't get to have that too, Chrysalid. You don't get to have armor. Okay. And now that you're in range... Boop, boop. Say goodnight. Talons of Justice. Alright. Hostile target down. Bowtie, so fly. Gonna have you fire off... 92%? Really? Huh. Uh, in case anyone's wondering, the reason I'm doing this, just in case, hey, oh, dragon rounds, uh, just in case I were to do minimum damage and only get eight, the chrysalids would still live, so I'm using the pistol to kind of ping away a little bit of their health and put them right in range to automatically die to the sniper That's shots. Right. So, just wanted to explain my, uh, my reasoning there, if you will. Alright, so, two of five threats taken care of. Brunswick, can you go anywhere else? Cool. Uh, nowhere that I want to put you, so we're going to throw you on Overwatch. Uh, I feel like... Well, let's see. I'm going to have Blue go inside here and disrupt the Overwatch. Uh, the good news is she will not trigger Overwatch shots from this SOB. And I'm hoping, by the way... Okay, good. I was say, I'm hoping I can hit, because if I can't, it was stupid of me to take off that uh, grenade and put on the skull jack, which I still might switch back. I don't know. We'll see how I'm feeling. Uh, 42, we're not going to hit. 95, we are. And we should break the Overwatch if we hit. Ooh! Devastating. Overwatch removed. Good. Deflection. That means that... Dark Jake 13 can come on in here. Let's 
he gonna have a shot? Uh, he'll have a shot on the chrysalid. At this point, what do I want more? Let's see. So that's gonna eat up three. Um, we're gonna take out for sure the heavy mech. What? Oh, he had two health. Get out of my face. Ugh. All right, so bad news here is we're gonna take some damage from somebody. I don't know who, I don't know when, but it's gonna happen. Uh, so we are going to see if we can get the chrysalid in our sights here. We can, and a critical hit would be extraordinary right now. Instead we get a dodge graze, but we did crack the shield. Alright, so this is going to be a little bit of a rough turn. This chrysalid will not be able to kill any of our units in one hit. Oh, but it's going to kill that one. Oh, nope, that's faceless. Good news is we already saved two. That thing's gonna walk and do some damage. Oh god. Oh, and it's gonna bring back. Oh god. Now I know why this is difficult. I think it's gonna bring them back as zombies. So, for those that don't know, chrysalids are really good at infecting other things when they kill them and turning them into zombies. Way to move right inside there. And way to miss the Blade Storm Blue. I'm very angry. Very, very angry at you right now. 10 out of 10. Would be angry again. How did that not damage him as well? I don't know. Anyway, that hurt all of our units a little bit and is not good. So maybe we're going to wait on that black site. Just maybe. You're going to get a swing on blue, aren't you? Or on Narcost. Alright, now gets the seven damage there. If you could dodge, baby girl, that'd be great. Two damage, that's not bad actually, I don't mind that. I mean, I mind it, but it could be much worse. All right, not bad, not great. Seems to be the story of our XCOM playthrough, does it not? So you could do only seven damage, which would be bad. We have, how many enemies on screen? Let's see, heavy mech, faceless. What about you, Bowtie, what do you got? Faceless, heavy mech. Elite Trooper. Let's have you focus out that Elite Trooper. You are a disappointment. 89% chance means nothing. Alright, so... I think what we're going to do is we're going to move Narcost out here. No problem, boss. And as predicted, yeah, that happened. 19 damage on a crit. I love it. Uh, I think the best move here is to have Keen fire out. I think I can get a grenade hit on both. Yes, I can. So, two birds meet one stone. Alright, this is going to allow Blucifer to come over here, hopefully save a human. Otherwise, we're going to take some sniper already. shots on a faceless. Let's see what happens. Let's go, move out. Atta girl. Something in the ground here. And there's our chrysalid friend. Yeah, I was say, what's that about? I should be able to blaze blade storm. Get the dodge graze, and it's on fire. So it should die automatically, if I'm correct. Uh, I'm gonna wait for a second to act with her. Uh, Blue, Jake, okay. So obviously you got some work to do healing here. Uh, we're gonna give Keen the health first. Keen, you keep taking a pummeling in these recent episodes. I don't know what it is. Uh, and we have time to save for healing here with you, so um, we're gonna save our super heal for later on. Gremlin, get on the heels. 
think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fire off a shot with Bruns here. Yeah. And then just in case any of these enemies here want to move a little bit. I am gonna go ahead and start on the move. Winding my way over here. I'll throw blue on Overwatch. Because, yeah, I kind of expected something like this. I hear a mech. Ooh, that's a crit. I miss the days when they shot like stormtroopers and couldn't hit anything. We're losing civilians left and right, Commander. Yeah, got it. We need to get these people out of here. Yeah, working on it, Central. Trying. We've already saved three of six. We're saving as many as they're killing, so... Pardon me if I'm not perfect. All right, uh, we have blasted cover to hell out here. So I think at this point, maybe I double move Keen somewhere. There, we'll move him over here. Okay, we don't trigger anybody else to say. If not, that'll give us time to We're going to start kind of inching closer to some of these that. friendlies. Uh, that's going to trigger somebody, apparently. Here. Some buddies. Some buddies once told me the world is going to roll me. All right. That's not good. Brun's got shots. Bowtie does not. That's bad. I'll take times I wish I had a sniper suit for 800. Absolutely. Or a spider suit, not a sniper suit. You know what I'm going to do? Throw him on the other side of Brunswick here. You two can be friends. Alright, Blue will come behind full cover. Finally. I haven't seen any other chrysalids yet, so I think we're safe there. Oh, well, speak of the devil. And he shall appear. Nars got some options. Nars got four that he can hit? Let's see. Chrysalid. Chrysalid cocoon? Really? I don't know if I've ever seen those before, in all honesty. Dark Jake, you can't haywire, can you? Nah, you're not even close to close enough. On my way! Alright. This is not great. Brunswick, who can you hit? 67, 15. It's going to seem stupid, but I am going to just move over a little bit here, see if I get a little bit better sight. And see, yep. So the Heavy Lancer I can take down. There we go. That's one less. I don't think it's going to kill necessarily, so I do worry. We're not going to take the 17% chance shot. That's just not going to happen. Lou's going to go on Overwatch because she really can't hit anything. We'll give Aid Protocol the Narcos. I was going to put Jake on Overwatch, but I don't know who all is going to just run right up in Jake's vision right now. So I need another turn to get him in range. So Brunswick, I think we're going to have you start inching your way forward a little more. And Nar, pretend you're Daft Punk and get lucky. Or don't, you know, either way. Miss a shot. It's all good. Missed. So hopefully the Crystal will move first and a combination of Blue's Overwatch and a Blade Storm from Nar will take it out. Let's see if I can predict. I thought I missed. Nice. And we're going to go ahead and Blade Storm you. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Good news is I can break things happening. Bad news is... Heavy Mech. Alright, so he's going to suppress. So i got to hit the Heavy Mech first before I can do anything else there with it. 
you could not fire on my civilians, that would be awesome. Alright. That should be about it for their turn. Oh, look at the little baby chrysalid! How'd I miss? Well, good thing is he missed too. Hashtag untouchable, because I gotta kill! That's how we do it. Alright, so Jake is pinned down. This is why you carry Haywire Protocol, by the way. And how you looking? Alright, get it right. Oh my god, that hurts! Oh no! No, 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 no. Well, that's about as bad as that can get. So, Keen, where are you at? And if you could not be a faceless, that would be awesome. It is not. Cool. Tell me you got the range, my man. It looks like you do. Oh, does he? Oh, does he? He does! <clears throat> So we're going to get the shot off and shred some armor. And suppression removed. Bowtie, what do you got shots on? 93. 63. Uh, let's see. Let me see what Bruns can do first here. 89, 63. I'm going have you take the 63 on him. <clears throat> That's gonna be a big ol' miss. Awesome. Adjusting sights. The chrysalid won't be hard to kill. It really won't. The question is, who do I want to have waste time on that? Alright, so here's what's going to happen. We're going to do this. Bowtie will take care of him. Little baby chrysalid. What did you expect? Alright, so Narcos, I would like for you to not miss. 7 to 9 versus 8 to 10. Yeah, don't miss. You. That armor's tough. Drain and ammo fast. Locked and loaded. Locked and loaded, bad and bougie. Let's do it. Not a problem. Blue, do the damn thing. All right, we left the elite trooper alive because I'm honestly more worried about the mech. Keep it score. My ammo's running low. Good news is both of them are now untouchable. Well, blue is untouchable. Nar is not. All right, so I'm assuming this other person here is a faceless because I feel like they would have taken the closer shot if they had it. That makes no sense. Senpai of the Apricots. So you have run and gun again. Lucifer, you have run and gun again. So yeah, we're gonna trigger that. Boop, boop, boop. Put him down. First off, I want my item. Whatever you say. Advanced autoloader. Nice, so that's going to be extra free reloads. And a PCS for advanced conditioning. Moderate boost in survivability. Hey-o! I'll take it. What am I doing with this? What am I doing with it? You are using it to make no yourself problem, invincible! And dead. That was gorgeous. You see that one? I did, I did see that one. Guns dry! Hunt him down. Blue, ah, damn, you're short. I would have had Nar do this instead. 
if I had known. Ah, damn. On the move. All right, well. Throw you over here, some. put you on Overwatch. Keen, we're gonna like circle you around kind of to start helping out. Oh, well. Those are maybe not people. At this point, I'm worried I don't know where to put you necessarily, so I'm gonna put you behind a cactus. The cacti will save you. Back in. And Brunswick, put you over here. Getting it done. Bowtie. Getting it done indeed. Put you behind here. Got it. Dark Jake will move you forward Moving too. So we should start seeing some enemies pretty soon. There's another one. And there's Faceless. Yep, I knew at least one of them would have to be Faceless, so... Hopefully they come after me and not the civilians. Yeah, that's right, come on. There we go. Come to Daddy. Or if it's Lucifer, come to Mommy. Miss is bad. I'm hoping this will count as a double move. Maybe, maybe not. No, definitely not. That's a single move. Keen Duck. I to call you Keen Ducker, am I right? Or get critically hit, that's fine. Alright, here's what I'm gonna do. Go for it, Nar. <laughs> I realized what a bad move that was a second ago. Because I probably should have had him just go forward and save this person up here, but you know that worked out really well for me. So I'm not, I'm not going to question it, not at all. No. Uh, don't be a faceless. Let's do this. Cool. Looks like you're not. You're safe. Now get moving. Blue's going to reload. Keen, I'm going to have you go right now. And that's a faceless. You're safe now. Go, go, maybe, go. maybe not. We're gonna trigger somebody, I think. Yep, there it is. We've secured a civilian contact. All right. Good news is we have done our due diligence here. I don't know what's going on. I don't think these chrysalids are actually hitting our units. Uh, Jake will save you for now. Brunswick. Yeah. Dodge graze that. Target eliminated. All right. Do I get risky? Do I risk the biscuit? Do I risk it for the biscuit? I do. Sure thing. I want to help go. people. Get out of here. Gotta go fast. Come get some. Uh, and Dark Jake. We're gonna go with restoration. Group hug. Just in case anything happens. Yep, get a little group hug action going on. So what Restoration does, it's the kernel level skill for uh, specialists, and it's the um, medically minded one, not the offensive one. What it does is it has the gremlin, once permission, you can fly around and heal up everyone. So as you can see, everyone got a nice heal, so it essentially acted like three med kits in one. Not too shabby if I do say so, myself. So there has to be at least another chrysalid, another faceless, or another something else that is keeping this mission going. Keen, I apologize, you've become kind of our frontline guy today. I'm assuming this is going to be... No, I guess not. You're clear. Move out. Alright, so we saved 8 out of the uh, 13 possible civilians. So that's good for us, especially on a very difficult mission. None of these have been too bad in terms of the damage we've taken, things like that, but it's just... I still feel as a squad we can do a little bit better, so... Always working to improve. What can I say? Bowtie will... I don't even know what I want to do with you right now. You're... I'm all over it. Not making me the happiest. Blue. I'm trying to think where else we've seen. Put you. I hope you don't mind being near the fire. Yeah. 
And at this point, I'm kind of just trying to suss out where the remaining enemies are. So, in case anyone wonders why I'm just running around like a madman. Throw Nara on Overwatch, why not? Moving Overwatch. Do I hear the sweet sounds of a chrysalida shuffling? Let's move already! Narcos, Narcos. I'm going. Now, let's have Brun fire on up here. See if we can't Drop get a little up. vision, shall we? Nothing. So who is still left alive? Curiouser and curiouser. There's got to be like a chrysalid cocoon or Not just some problem. chrysalids buried in the ground that I can't find. Bowtie. Bring you along over here. Brunswick's gonna go on Overwatch. Lucifer will go on Overwatch. Dark Jake will move up more. Keen will move up more. Narcos will move up more. No problem, boss. I would love to neutralize the alien strike force, but I don't know where they are. Except now I do. There it is. Hey, buddy. Hey, brother. Yeah, no, come get it. Come on. Bring it on, you slimy, weird little alien jerks. I will murder you all dead. Bowtie, let's have you pop up top. Or not, I don't know. Is Brunswick blocking the only spot you can be at? I have no vision right here. I don't know. Alright, Bowtie, we'll just pop you over. Meow. Sure thing. Blue, we're going to throw you behind full cover. Keen, we'll just have you double move here. Bowtie can pistol overwatch because he's not good for much Very else. Nice. Seriously, I'm disappointed in my character. Might have been like the 80 times his will was shaken. Coming back to bite me now. Uh, we're going to heal up Keen a little more. I would just like him at full health. I figure we've got the medkit usages to make it happen, so why not? Blue should be on Overwatch. Scanning. No. Narcos, we'll move you over here. I can handle that. Nar and Blue both get Blade Storm anyway, so not too worried. Runs will throw you on Overwatch. I do hear some things. I hear some chrysalids up there. They really need to come down here and get some. Armor still holding. That is not oh, good. somebody had nine health, huh? At this point, chrysalids don't care about cover, so neither will we. Hi, friend. How many is that now? <laughs> How many is that now? More than your fair share, Blue. More than your fair share. You have done great. Uh, Nar, Set running him up, gun. Knock him down. Affirmative. This is why I love Rangers. So versatile, so great. Covering now. Keen will move you forward just a teensy little bit. Overwatch. Bow tie, Overwatch. Overwatch. Run, Overwatch. And we'll aid protocol Nar just because he's closest to the enemies. And Overwatch. Overwatch, because why not? I'm assuming dead. You're gonna miss, really? Wow, that's close range, too. Run. There it is. Get it together. 
X-ray neutralized. Menace 1-5, status confirmed. We're not picking up any additional contacts. The AO is clear. There we go. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. And we rescued more than our fair share of civilians. I think that's one of our better uh, retaliation strike missions, actually. If we're being completely honest. So, four wounded, not great. Keen is going to be spending a little bit of time in the hospital. Because uh, he took several shots and a crit. But he's a big, strong guy, so I believe in him. And Narcost, pretty much cleaning up minus the move there. Dealt the most damage, made the most attacks, and was the most under fire. So, pretty decent, successful shot percentage. Uh, good average damage, good average enemies killed, and, eh, average cover bonus is what it is. So, overall, squad number one putting in the finest of work. Except for Bowtie. Like I said, I think I might be switching him out of the rotation and making him a secondary character, just because he's not... He's not doing what I need him to. Like, I remember in previous playthroughs, my pistol-oriented snipers have cleaned up, and here he just... He's been missing too many pistol shots and too many sniper shots as well. And you can't have that. You cannot have it. So let's see if anyone got a promotion. Nobody got a promotion? Alright, so... How did Dark Jake get gravely wounded? What? I don't know. But, uh, yeah, Nar and Blue will be back in, which is good for us. Keen and Jake will be out for a little bit. Good news is we do have some decent backup uh, Grenadiers, as well as a solid backup specialist in Mr. Josh Kelly. So, we will survive. As long as we know how to love, we know we're still alive. Really, eight chrysalids. Wow. I'm surprised. Normally, chrysalids are a bigger deal, and they just... I don't know if they just couldn't hit up close, or if it was because Nar kept killing people every turn that he was activating untouchable. Whatever it was. Oh, commander. Didn't... Didn't mess with me at all. So, monthly supply rewards increased across Africa and increased monthly by six supplies. There you go. Monthly by six supplies. So... Let's go ahead, uh, we are going to advance the clock just a bit here, see if we can get some of these projects done. Supply drop and an intel drop. Not bad, let's see. It's a bonfire. Uh, we are going to grab this supply drop because that is huge. And at this point I would love, love, love to create any extra supplies, things I need. We're doing good in that pretty much everyone is upgraded now. Alien facility coordinates locked in, Commander. Okay, so an alien facility was constructed. That's very bad for us. New staff available. No, I didn't want. No, I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to do that. No, stop flying. Crash and burn. Something else. No. Uh, all right. Well, I guess we're stopping back here. Let's see. Another major ranger. Hmm. Ugh, that's a lot of supplies. Oh, that's also a lot of supplies. Can be toss. Hmm. I mean, do we? Uh, I'm tempted. You know what? I'm gonna do it. At this point, we really, uh, as much as I didn't want to, we really need engineers. So let's see. Clear this out. Open engineer. Tom Vidas. Alright. When we can, we'll get her a little bit of help there. Actually, at this point, do you need your... I should check. Do you need your person? No. Eh. We need you there. Definitely, definitely. Um, Avenger power plus five. Yep, you need to stay there, sadly. Uh, resistance comms, yeah, we can't go under the amount, I think. So we could use another several, but for now that'll do. Um, we are going to pick up, I think, maybe some intel. Alien allies. 
Where does that intel drop at, anyway? Africa, not there. Eh, six days for what's likely to be very little intel is not going to be worth it, so I think we are going to advance just a little bit of time here. Uh-oh. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress what? on the Avatar oh. project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. Well, this Commander, is bad. We're almost out of time. The Avatar project is entering its final stages. The only way we're going to slow the Elder's progress is by destroying one of their facilities. We have to move fast or everything we've worked towards will be lost. I am sure you will find the presumably that this armored environment All right. is capable of that, that is really really bad for us. So we have 20 days expired is to kill some stuff or we in trouble. Trace arounds. Okay. Might give those to bow tie for being honest. Captain can't hit. This is really bad, I know, I know. Spider suit, accept. I have made a number of interesting discoveries, Commander. Hell we, there we go. Intellectual curiosity is not enough to overcome my doubts as to whether or not it was really a wise decision for our troops to bring this particular specimen on board. Not the bad, ship. not bad. But now what I know we have to do, let me quickly check here. Oh dear, oh odds and bodkins. Let's see. Who all is available for a black site raid? Most of our people should be back. Dark Jake is back in one day. All right. We are going to burn one day off the clock. And then we are taking on a black site, my friends. And I need to start working on whatever the primary objectives there are. Oh, and right when I'm trying to do this, we get hit with a Guerrilla Ops mission. So, looks like in our next episode, we are going to be doing Guerrilla Ops. Facility counter by two weeks. Uh, we're probably going to take on Operation Wolf Mother in New Indonesia to stop a major breakthrough. But for now, we're going to go ahead and call that an episode. You know the drill. As always, if you're enjoying the series, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And of course, be sure to check out all the other content I've got on my channel. Right now, I've been focusing a little more heavily on XCOM, but I do throw up some other videos of things like The Division, Overwatch, and other popular content as well. So be sure to check those out if you haven't already. But for now, this is Bowtie So Fly saying have a great day and stay fly.